Hello there, Divine Feminines. What is going on? Let's get into a general reading for you gals um, and for whoever's watching. Guys, I want to make sure you realize that this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone, especially nowadays that everybody seems to be dispersed and, you know, everybody's really going on into their own personal journey. So I hope you've buckled down. I hope you're speaking to someone you can confide in. Um, you know, and that's a good thing, by the way, because it means that you've learned, you know, your role and your task at hand in your own specific personal journey and you're ready and you have dispersed and now you're on your own missions. So let's see what uh, general reading, though, spirit can give us for the major collective, even though we've all dispersed into our own little pockets and journeys that we've taken our own personal tasks. OK, again, this is a general reading. So if you um, want to book a personal reading, please follow the description box below. Thank you for the likes, comments and subscribes. Thank you for the love thank you to all my clients who've been there since day one i love you um and uh, i love everyone who's to come welcome morph team the cards are pre-shuffled but we like to ooh, okay we do like to give it a go on camera and scene for you to realize and to know that it's all going to be uh spontaneous messages from spirit and we'll go ahead and see what's going on okay i want you to know this is how I do my work. Again, thank you for being patient for all the readings that are to come, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. General reading for the Divine Feminine. Okay, I think we're ready to go, though. Okay, I really do. But let's go ahead and give it two more for the Divine Feminine. And, oh my. Okay, we're ready to go. Divine Feminine, what does Spirit want us to know? The Three of Swords, okay, the Eight of Wands, the Lovers, and the Seven of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the World card, okay? So at least we know we're going to be completing some sort of tasks here. Divine Feminine, I uh, first want to say that a lot of us are dreaming. Okay, and not in a sarcastic sense, in a sense that we are having dreams lately and they're so vivid, but some of us may feel like they don't necessarily pertain to us specifically. We could be having dreams about family members. We could be having third person views, first person views. I mean, it, it just is all very random, it seems, okay, for you divine feminines. Um, regardless if it's in a dream or not there is heartbreak and heartache i think this is self-inflicted i think as we're on our own journeys everyone is like you know resonating or not resonating with general readings which is a great thing hallelujah because you know um once we are all realizing that we are one it's to decide it's to realize what one as individuals should go off and learn decide you understand it's it's up to us individually to learn what we were put on this place and earth and i think some of us are starting to come up on this knowledge and yes it's heartbreaking that um of what we know okay um there was something i was speaking with uh one of my friends not a client and this was um you know find someone who isn't paralyzed by your uh superpowers Okay, so I think we've all realized that in this twin flame journey, it's like a soul that's been divided and it seems that all that we feel like we can give to this person and all that we are, even though suppressed, is very much on earth because of the divine nature of the fact of the love of the pure love i think that it scares people to the to the point of paralyzation you know that's a lot that's a reason why we're not together right now is because both of us both parties are definitely scared of our potential of where we're going and what we're you know needing and and regardless of that if that's what you resonate with other things could happen with this knowledge of gemini libra and aquarius energy so truthful so brutal so honest you know and so to the point raw all raw no color but, you know, uh, with the sword stabbing your heart is I think that a lot of you divine feminines or divine masculines, okay, are realizing um, truths about your heart, truths about how you love, truths about the love or the loves that you've had or love that you're going to have. I think you're very aware of why, you know, you feel alone while you why you are heartbroken and why you finally took the talisman took your task and went off and you're realizing the reasons why you're here i hope that makes sense for you okay there's a heartbreak here and it could have been if not um 
spiritual downloads okay is what I'm trying to tell you um, if it's not spiritual downloads I think some of you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra or Aquarius whether they're your divine masculine but a karmic partner that has ended things with you and you're ready to move forward you're ready to move quick and change fast and I do believe what spirit is telling me is because of the spiritual downloads that you should be receiving that you took your role and went with it. Now, if you're still at the deciding board, if you're still like, I don't know, at the table discussing which path you want to take because you can take all the time you need because once you go, you're off on that journey. There's no turning back. Okay, that's when you open a new door. There's no going back until you've exceeded that level. And I feel like a lot of us with what we know, even if we were just told, okay, the downloads are going to be coming, but more so, I feel like we understand more about what what love is. I think we understand more about how we were giving love. I think we're closer to to healing to our pure love do you understand I think we're closer so we'll go ahead and clarify this three of swords for some of us okay but with the Aries Leo Sagittarius energy is determined and ambitious to just move forward with quick haste and if we might burn any unnecessary um, uh, leeches or you know latches on us you know if anything but that also signifies air travel and we're also talking about air here so I think a lot of what we realize made us want to um, change course and completely in our lives again you started off one place knowing you're a twin flame now what are you gonna do with it everything that you're given right now which is more which is way less than what you're going to be given so it's walking into the unknown and taking a new step I think a lot of us divine feminines I know a lot of us divine feminines Feminines are traveling right now, hanging out with friends, coping in the way that we know how to cope regardless if you're traveling. And um, for those who are, that's just your way of coping. That's just your way of getting over things and how you deal with things. You could be an air sign. You could be a fire sign. And your known tactic is to just whew, breeze through the air perfect but with what you're learning ultimately I think you're gonna say you know what I'm down for it I'm up for it remember we have the world card at the bottom so that's coming okay that's around the corner is what I like to say it's something that um, I think a lot of us are still very feel fearful of that it's at the bottom of the deck okay but um, so I think we're moving quick and we're moving fast and it also signifies fast-paced change the eight of wands here all right so you're you're you know what you know and when you know something that's that's when you took your role at hand if you were going to move forward with it remember there's no turning back so be prepared for any lags if you decide to throw that in reverse okay so once you know something go ahead and prosper okay the lovers card Gemini energy some of you could really be dealing with air signs some of you could really be dealing with mental awareness mental physical activity but all in the head you're you're, you're receiving divine feminines you should be receiving downloads you should be receiving joys spurts of happiness anything that has to do with the mind and relieving any of this pain pain is inevitable because there's a lot that you're aware of there's a lot that you really Realizing, even if it's just realizing that damn five months has passed and I haven't seen the man of my dreams you know what I'm saying like there's a realization here and it's breaking your heart but I think you really if you're not hearing any downloads I think you need to really be open to that so with this lovers here is that there is a destiny with you and your divine masculine there is and it's up to you to believe that but mostly it's up to you to heal what's happened in the past what you've known how you've delivered yourself how you've come to the table what you've presented yourself with it's time to heal Heal. and it's not saying heal with him it's saying that he will be right there healing along with you but comes first ladies first how about that you know angel Raphael if you're not aware that means God heals so this is lovers and in lovers it's vulnerability there's no there's no veil there's no it, it's a bubble of for both of you it's the souls that were divided coming into one and you know then there's unity there's purity honesty truth love at its most I mean it's dropping all you know first of all you're not even dirty you're coming you're reborn do you understand so to be reborn is a sacrifice needing to be made deaths are needing to happen then we have the seven of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy here so um lots of decisions right of which way you want to go now i want to clarify the three of swords and the seven of cups because deciding which way you're gonna go tells me that the dreams are something that are happening with you or the downloads it's all a mental awareness here okay that not necessarily anything physical is happening if it's physical I may touch base on that but this is if it's um, if, uh, emotional 
uh, mental, okay? No illness necessarily, okay? But, you know, I feel like you um, you dream sometimes. Some div divine feminines could be dreaming of different um, paths that they can take. Now, it could be with or without. They could have some with, they could have some without. I think you're dreaming. I think there's a lot of dreams here that are trying to get you to wake up and understand um What's next? If some of us are shut off in um, reality, in real life, I think um, these decisions are very vital to you and your life and to your new directions that you're to be taking. Um, you know, Seven of Cups also talks about making decisions in love. So it's snapping out of that reality and having to make decisions with your heart, you know, a heart overhead decision kind of thing. Um, you know, but not to, to throw one asset away, but I think when you're making the decision, make sure that it's what your heart desires, you know, because if you're making a decision in love, which better, um, which better organ to be in than the heart. So, you know, but it's still saying that, you know, minds can play tricks on you. So can moving fast. So can the dream of, so can the eagerness to be, to be healed. So can a lot of eagerness be. So if this is a divine feminine who's feeling eager to move forward, whether it be with the divine masculine, with someone else, start anew, choose a path. If you're eager, you know, it's very, um, it's very possible that you can make the wrong decision. Don't tell me you don't see those serpents and snakes and devils in those cups. This also signifies more money, more power, if that's what you want. There's always a downside to that. You know, if you're being offered more power, you know, there's always, you know what that's like. So, um, I was going to also throw in here that there's no pinnacle card. So it could say for some divine feminines that we've already feel like we've got one aspect in the bag. Make sure you keep a hold on that. Keep an eye on that. That could also tell someone, keep an eye on a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that's in your mists. Keep an eye on them. Not in a negative way. If you know your situation, so be it. Take it how it applies. But more so, if you feel like you are or you are not ten toes down and secure in your finances and secure in yourself, okay, secure in your tangible successes you know um that that could also do talk a lot about security insecurities um lack of inspiration lack of passion okay lack of drive so let's just make sure that from what we've learned that is could very be something that we could may need um counseling for Okay, that when we move in fast, we're moving towards the right thing and we're moving in the right amount of pace, that we're open to suggestions and listening to people. I think that this is a, a good thing for the divine feminines right now. Let's see, we have the lovers here. So if you're moving fast towards a new relationship, towards healing, remember, just make sure that, you know, you, you move in at a steady pace, okay? Seven of Cups, you can very well make the wrong decision. At the top of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords, okay? So like I said, we can very well make the wrong decision. But not only if you make the wrong decision, then there's nothing else to say for the Ten of Swords. I feel uh, some of us, um, there. what wants to tell me is for someone who's <clears throat> a little more sad than others, uh, is maybe not traveling for, for, for say, that maybe you made a decision in love. Maybe you decided to speak to someone and they turned you down. Maybe because you moved too fast. I feel like anything that leads to hearing is moving too fast this could also be the ten of swords that some of us are tired of being alone okay we have the two of pentacles here let's clarify this ten of swords specifically for the divine feminine before we clarify other cards why the ten of swords spirit why do we have the ten of swords at the top of the deck why is the ten of swords here spirit tell us why the ten of swords is here for the divine feminine tell us why the ten of swords is here for the divine feminine <clears throat> Tell us why the Ten of Swords is here for the Divine Feminine. The Ten of Swords for the Divine Feminine. Okay, well. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So let's keep it uh, general. <clears throat> okay? For the general reading. Ten of Swords is feeling paralyzed. Okay, the whole kundalini, as you see from head to toe, technically, um, or where the kundalini ends, is shot. 
okay? I mean, you have been stabbed, acupuncture, you can't move, okay? You feel like it's all done, it's all over, there's no hope for whatever you're trying to achieve, okay? No one loves you, the, the whole pity, but literally it's beyond pity because sometimes when you have pity, you're still like whining and have hope. This is like shut 